Mark Wahlberg and Jonathan Rumi provide such an important masculine witness to Christianity. Men speaking about the importance of prayer, faith, Lent, fasting, spiritual exercises. We just want to continue to encourage people to grow closer to God. So uh, it's been amazing. Ever since I was fortunate enough to get involved with the Hallow app uh, right around the, the release of Father Stu, um, you know, it really has, has allowed me to contribute as much as I possibly can and use the platform that I have to encourage people to have a, a relationship with God. Mm -hmm. Both of y'all are actors, and we hear all the time that if you talk about your faith as an actor, that uh, that can um, remove you from different parts and different opportunities. Mm. But That'd I love, be really hard for him, <laughs> know, considering the part Jesus. that he plays. That, <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> if you haven't seen, it, you've got to watch Father Stew and you have to watch uh, the, uh, the Chosen because you play such a phenomenal Jesus. You just exude you. love in that part. Uh, what try. was your reaction to breaking history with this app? Oh, uh, that it was awesome. I mean, it was just you know, I, I think we're Hallow is is filling a need, and to be able to you know uh, see the expression of that in a commercial during the Super Bowl and know that so many people want to get connected to God, want to have a deeper relationship, they want to improve their prayer life, and the fact that Hallow can actually help them achieve that in ways that are so meaningful it's just it's just music to my ears yeah and, yeah, and so many things have caused the disconnect over the years especially yeah. with COVID I mean I hadn't gone to church for over a year it was uh, it was a very difficult time and people people are really looking to reconnect and find something that will will fulfill that need I must say though I w we had mass this morning mm -hmm. Jonathan did the second reading and <laughs> I was just listening to his voice and it was just it was different. So mm. soothing, right? Yeah. You have a 4 a.m. club. Tell mm -hmm. us about that. I mean, you clearly already had your mask. You have your ashes on your forehead. These guys were at the gym at 4 <laughs> o'clock, and they were like, where were you? Yes. I didn't realize, it's my day off today. I mean, I people are always like, why can't you have a normal schedule? My thing is, if I'm at home, I do all the things that I need to do that are personal time mm -hmm. uh, before the kids and my wife get up. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I always get eight hours of sleep. It's not like I'm, I'm you know, burning the candle at both ends per se. I'm getting the rest that I need. It's, it's just, important. if I, in a perfect world, I'll go to bed at 7, 7.30, wake up at 3, 3.30, and then do my things, get those out of the way before I start my day with my family or work. And you start with prayer. Absolutely. I have a lot to be grateful for. When you mm. get out of bed, I was reading that you are on your knees immediately. Yes. Yes. How important is that to start your day in prayer? I think it sets everything up. It, it, it sets up your mindset. Your, it sets your spirit up for, mm -hmm. you know, the, the, the challenges perhaps for the day and as, as well as the successes. And I think as Mark's saying, you know, starting the day with gratitude and, mm -hmm. and knowing that, you know, we've been given so much in this life um, to be grateful for to God and and uh, and being able to to express that through prayer uh, and also all of us needing to do more. I mean, yeah. you know, people are always asking, "What are you giving up?" I've given many things up for Lent, whether it be uh, you know alcohol or something you know sweet. But for me, it's really about trying to do more. You know, trying to be better, trying to grow as a person, as a mm -hmm. servant, to God, a father, a husband, you know, as an example, um, you know, and, and using all that real life experience that I have, I think it gives me a bit of credibility with people who have been struggling and who have, who have faced adversity. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we just want to be able to do more. And I think what better than to have Ash Wednesday fall on Valentine's Day, because mm -hmm. where do you get more love than with the Lord? And with in a time where there's such a disconnect, we need things to bring people together mm -hmm. and the power of prayer is doing that. So you're launching the Lent Prayer and Fasting Challenge today on mm -hmm. this Ash That's Wednesday. Right. Tell us about that. So uh, we basically, for Ash, uh, for Lent, on beginning today, we, on Hallow, we, we take this book called He Leadeth Me, written by this uh, Jesuit priest named Father Walter Chiswick. And we, uh, it's a book that's uh, about, all about surrender. Uh, this, the man who wrote the book um, lived quite some time ago and he, he basically spent 20 years in, in Russia in prison camps and, and his whole experience of how he had to surrender to God in order to be able to get through that experience is the focus of the challenge. And so we pray, uh, every day we do excerpts from the book, mm -hmm. we pray um, different prayers, Mark does a fasting challenge yeah. uh, every uh, Friday, is it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and uh, basically just lead people through prayer throughout the entire time of life. I love your app. Palo is great, and you can choose the voice of who you want to read the meditation that day. That's and right. 
you're my voice <laughs> every day. Sweet. Um, I'm not jealous, by the way. <laughs> I'm not jealous. So I do pray with his rosary every do almost every really? day. Yeah, yeah, oh, I pray with his rosary. People say, I always hear from people, they always say, oh my God, you pray so fast, you speak so fast. I'm like, well, I got a lot to He's do got in stuff a short to do. amount of time. I mean, I'm, I'm still looking for time to, to catch up. That's okay. Everyone likes a different cadence. Uh, Fox and Friends Prayer Series starts uh, this coming Sunday. Every Sunday, Pete Hegseth, who's our weekend anchor, is going to read from the Hallow app during Lent. And I know that we want to read one of the meditations. Yes. So I'll start it. Will you help me finish it, please? Sure, sure. Okay. So it says, how easy it is in times of ease for us to become dependent on our routines, friends, and possessions surround us. One day is followed by the next. Good health and happiness for the most part are ours. We don't have to desire much of the things of this world in order to have gained this sense of comfort and of well-being, to trust in them as our support and to take God for granted. Somehow then God must contrive to break through those routines of ours and remind us once again that we are ultimately dependent only upon him, that the things of this world and this world itself are not our lasting city, that his we are, and that we must look to him and turn to him in everything. Oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. Oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. Oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. Amen. Oh, Amen. that's beautiful. Yes, it's a simple prayer. Very I surrender simple. everything, and I know God will take over the that rest. That one prayer changed your life. Yeah. When you went for your audition to play Jesus on The Chosen, have you heard your whole life you look a lot like Jesus? <laughs> um, when, I, when I grew up, the hair and the beard, uh -huh. start, I started getting a lot of comparisons. That yeah. and Scott Stapp from Creed before the beard, so. I was walking through the green room looking for you, and I'm like, I'm looking for Jesus. Yeah. I've been looking for Jesus my whole yeah. life. <laughs> and we all. Yeah, we have. God bless you both. Everyone God download Hallow. It is a fantastic app. Just support them, support uh, this challenge, and I'm, I just love you both, and I love Jesus, and I'm so thankful for what you're doing. Our world is just, we need, we need people like y'all to talk about Christianity. Thank you. Amen. God bless Thank you. you so Thank much. you. You're welcome. Thank you.